Sweaty Cup, Walter here, Path the Brave. I uh, hear a lot of guys talk about in the MMA world, which I love it, I love MMA, and how it's integrated Muay Thai into its stand-up game. And the uh, thing about it I hear that does bother me a little bit is I don't want to kick because I don't want to get taken down. It's always a possibility, especially when you get tired. We talked about getting tired and how that's a major factor in any fight. But getting taken down because of kicking. I see so many guys warming up uh, when I work MMA fights, and they're basically doing mid work and some ground. Some jits, some wrestling, and some boxing. Not a lot of kicking, not a, even kneeing, not so much. Just dabble in it. In my opinion, it's kind of like a, a shooting, a weaponry. If I got a magazine, the magazine holds 30 rounds, I'm not gonna load 18 rounds in it. I wanna load it to the max. 30 rounds is always gonna, always beats 28 eight rounds any day. So in California, unfortunately, they want us to only use 10. So, like loading six in it, We're, why? Use all your weapons, but you gotta be careful. There's things you gotta think about when you are kicking, okay? All right, now, one is Sweaty Cup. It's Gilbert, one of my amateur MMA fighters. He's actually an amateur champ for, for teeping. Teeping or push kick. It's a good weapon to keep somebody out, especially when they come straight in, come straight in, Gilbert, boom. Oh, they're gonna grab it like that. Say you grab my kick. Okay, this is important. Go. This is important. When you push kick or you teep, you got to pick your leg up. The leg has to come up when you teep. It has. To, that's why you want to be light on this front foot. It's also light on the front foot. Help you with your checking ability. You don't want to just eat leg kicks. That does take away your mobility. Okay, and you can get KO'd with leg kicks very easily. Maybe not right away. There's guys that just think they can take it. It's not wise. Okay, so I pick the leg up and I let it go, right? Like that. That's really important, extremely important. Because if the leg is low and he grabs it, carries and grabs it. But yeah, you can do that and take me down many ways. But the problem is I can't, I lose my balance, okay? So what I want to do is, when I teep, and he grabs it, grab it, Gilbert. Boom, right? Grab it. Teep it, grab it, yeah. I want to pull it back. Boom, come back in with something, okay? So I'm here, I teep him, he grabs it. My knee is up though, if it's down low, I'm screwed. In bad problem. So I'm here, I pull it back in this direction, I set it down. I don't have to, Strike back. It's good though. In Thai they call Huang Yao Lang to hit back with it. So the I call the push kick the teep too. So I'm going here. I'm gonna teep, grab it, I pull it back, I shoot it back. Okay, and then I retain my stance or my game plan, whatever that may be. So try that, have fun with it. Come. <coughs>